I feel the rain. I feel the rain. Yes, it is. Hallelujah.
for that rain tonight. Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus a round of praise. Hallelujah. Certainly is good to be in the house of the Lord. I mean, he knows that we should give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy endures forever. He's been good to us. You know, I can testify of his goodness. When I look back on my life, you know what? I can testify how good God has yes, been. Yeah. And I tell you what, I want to worship him tonight. I want to I want to lift him up. And I tell you, in today's society and in the way it looks, you know, it's not mainstream, but I'm glad there's a group of people that still got Jesus at the forefront, still got their mind on the heavenly home, not this world. How many's like, how many's like that this night? Hallelujah. How many come to seek Jesus? Hallelujah. Let me invite you right now. Let's just raise our hands towards heaven. Let's just enter in tonight. Let the Lord bless you. You know, he's here in your midst. If you got a need, he's here to meet it. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. Praise to the 
his name. Hallelujah. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the compares. I have in you. Nothing, nothing. Like it, Lord. knows that the promises of the Lord are yea and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can rest assured in Jesus. Hallelujah. You can be seated just for a moment. Good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. I tell you, it's good to feel the spirit of the Lord already in his house. And I tell you, the promises of the Lord are yea and amen. You know what? It's untelling what Jesus might do before we get out of here tonight. Hallelujah. If uh, Let's give Sister Sheila a hand as she comes to sing tonight. Give her a hand. Offering takers make their way to the front, too, and we'll take up tonight's offering as well. Hallelujah. Brother Chris Popwell, will you stand and testify tonight as they get ready?
streets of gold singing around God's throne. Nothing can hold me here cause I'm headed home. If I should die down here before that trumpet sounds, when they lay my body in that cold, cold ground, you won't have to weep for me, don't sing the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Brian, will you stand tonight and testify tonight? Hallelujah. Brother Brian. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Sister Katrina, come and sing tonight. Give her a hand. Well, Jesus said it is expedient. They done away with my Lord, but on that third day, the sun was rolled away, and he came forth from that grave, and that same spirit that raised Jesus up will take me home someday. Well, I can't feel his Holy Spirit, but dwell well, sometimes it feels so gentle and sometimes 
shall raise this old body up and take me home someday. Well, they laid him in an empty tomb, and they rolled that stone and put it in front of the door. Well, they put soldiers there to guard him. You know, they thought they'd done away with my soldiers there to guard him. You know they thought they'd done away with the Lord. But on that third day the stone was rolled away and he came forth from that grave. And that same spirit that raised Jesus will take me home someday. Well I can feel him Rushing wind, well that same spirit that raised Jesus up from death and the grave, well it shall raise this old body up and take me home someday. Well it shall raise this old. Body Hallelujah. Once again tonight, let's all just stand to our feet and let's give our King Jesus another round of praise. Hallelujah. How I many knows he's still high and lifted up? He's still on the throne tonight. Hallelujah. He's our King. At this time, help me make welcome our pastor, Brother Keith. Give him a hand. Thank you, Lord. Well, I know I've been resurrected because I got that same spirit tonight. Amen. Somebody hallelujah. shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Isn't God good tonight? Give all these wonderful singers a great big hand tonight, would you? Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Amen. God's a mighty good God. Just turn around and smile at somebody and say, I'm so glad to see you here. Oh, tell them like you mean it. Say, I'm, say, I'm glad to see you here tonight. Hallelujah. How many of those it's good to be in the house of the Lord tonight? It really is. Amen. Good to see everybody tonight. You can be seated for just a minute. Amen. Appreciate the goodness of the Lord tonight. Appreciate his mercy and all of his goodness. And uh, listen, folks, a trip to church is a trip never wasted. I mean, knows that. I don't care if you got anything or didn't get anything. If you got, amen, got blessed or got uh, corrected, everyone, you still was a blessed person to be able to be in the house of the Lord. How many believe that tonight? Amen. Because he's a mighty good God. Amen. We appreciate the goodness. Good to see everybody tonight. Amen. I'm glad I'm on my way to heaven. And the journey getting sweeter every day. Amen. It's still good to see those newlyweds with us tonight. Honeymooners. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God's a mighty good God tonight. I appreciate the goodness of the Lord and his mercies tonight. Amen. I, I'm not going to sing this, but I just want to I want to just go through the course. I don't know if it's key D or G. Amen. Keep on the ball rolling. Well, if you're in the battle for the Lord and right, keep on that far in line. I know you got to keep on fighting tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got to keep on plowing tonight. If you're going to win this battle, you're going to have to keep on fighting. How many believe that? Yes, sir. God will only use a soldier he can trust. Keep on that far in line. Well, I said I wasn't going to sing all of it, and I sung about all of those things. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let's give the Lord another shout of praise tonight, would you? Come on, give God a shout of praise. Come on, amen. Give him a praise tonight, would you? Hallelujah. Well, if you're in the battle for the Lord and right, we'll keep on the, the fire in line. If 
you win, my brother, surely you must fight. Keep on the fire and light. Life is but to labor for the master, dear. Help to banish evil and to spread good cheer. Great you'll be rewarded for your service here. So keep on the fire and light. Oh, you must fight. Be brave against all evil. Never run nor even lie behind. If you would win for God and the right, you gotta keep on the fire and light. Oh, give the Lord a shout of praise tonight. Come on. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise tonight. Just the one you got in your hand, Brother J.L. Amen. Just the one. No, no, just the one you got in your, uh, on your right hand. Yes, please. Give God one more shout of praise tonight. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Heaven knows he's a mighty good God tonight. Amen. Mighty good God tonight. Amen. Appreciate the goodness of the Lord. Appreciate his mercies tonight. I went to Florida several, several years ago. It's been several years ago, and I got my dad a, a, a coffee cup or two. You know, said, welcome to Florida, something like that. He looked at me one night, and he said, I've got enough coffee cups. He said, can't you get me something different? <laughs> Hallelujah. But this is, one, this is what I brought him back this time, or the time that, amen. How many of say God's a good God? And uh, I want to preach tonight, amen, if you'll go with me to the book of Psalms tonight, chapter number uh, 23 tonight. Amen. We're going to try to go through this tonight as quick as we can, but God is good. Somebody shout, God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I don't know, amen, some of it call it java, some call it coffee, some call it cappuccino, I don't know what all it's called, and amen, but if you drunk that cup full, you'd be full of coffee. How many believes that? Amen. Amen. But I'm going to preach tonight by the grace of God, amen, I want you to go to verse number five, Daniel, amen, God is a mighty good God. I want to take my text out of verse number five, amen. How many knows that God's a mighty good God? Amen. Would you stand the reading of the word of the Lord tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in verse number 5, Thy prepareth a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointeth my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. I want to preach tonight, my cup's not big enough. Now, I know maybe, I don't know them, but maybe you brought one this size. If you are, you're really in trouble. But my cup is not big enough. Your cup is really not big enough. If you understand the goodness of of God. Brother Jeff, would you bring the rest of it in here with me? Somebody shout, my cup is not big enough. Oh, say it. Say it like you mean it. Now, you may think it is, but it's not. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Somebody shout, God is good. Amen. Now, amen. When you read this scripture, and we've got to go back to understand why my cup runneth over. Amen. So when we get done tonight, I believe you're going to understand that your cup has not been big enough. Now, I love the old song that I believe it was uh, Michael Combs sings. Amen. I'm drinking from my saucer because my cup is overflowing. How many remember the old folk used to take their... Everybody, they take that cup, it was real hot, and they pour some of it out in the saucer, and they blow, and sup it out of that saucer. Then they take that big old biscuit, and they sop it down that coffee. And them folk, them paws and grains that didn't have no teeth, that was just heaven to them. Somebody shout amen. But my cup is not big enough tonight. Your cup is really not big enough tonight. Amen. Brother Calvin, would you say the prayer of the reading of the word tonight? Yes, Scott. Yes. 
Give God a shout of praise in here tonight. Come on, give him praise as you're seated tonight. In verse number 5 again, the Bible says, I prepare the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. And God dealt with me and, and, and as I begin to bring this out tonight. And uh, I want to go to the last part of that verse. And thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. And as I, again, I want to title this message, My Cup Isn't Large Enough. My cup's not big enough to hold all the bounties and the blessings of God. I don't care if you're in a pit tonight. He knows how to draw you out of it. He knows how to take you out of the Maury clay. And he knows how to set your feet on a rock to stay. Don't no matter where you've been or what you're going through, God is still good to you and I tonight. Now, when I look at that, I want to go back to Psalms chapter 23 and verse number 1 tonight. Amen. As I begin to, God begin to really deal with me on this. And I said, Lord, I know it's a simple message, but God said, you don't understand about what I want to talk to you about. And when God began to deal with me up on this, I begin to realize, amen, we quote it and we see it, we read it and we say it, and amen, we think we understand it. But God says this to me. To, to me. He said, I want to bless you so much. And I have blessed you so much. But we can't even contain the goodness of God. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. Somebody shout, he's not your shepherd. He's not their shepherd. He's my shepherd. you got to make this thing as personal as it can be. He is my shepherd tonight. Amen. I know they're over yonder. I know them down yonder. But he is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Somebody shout, he is my shepherd. Now, amen. The shepherd, amen, is one that just does not, he's not a harling. Amen, as the book of uh, John, uh, St. John there says. He's not a harling. He's not someone that is hard to take care of the sheep. The sheep are his. And he loves those sheep. And those sheep have become a part of him. Amen. And a good shepherd, according to St. John chapter 10, that a good shepherd will give his life for the sheep. Woo. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Jesus gave his life that you could have life. Your sins and my sins deserved, amen, and the penalty for sin is death. Anybody hear what I'm telling you? The penalty for sin is death. Anybody or anything that sins has to die. That's the word. The day you eat that tree, you shall. It wasn't the fruit that killed them. It was the disobedience that killed them. Now watch this. When we get into this and get the meat of God's word and I begin to look at this, the Lord is my shepherd. Somebody shout, he is my shepherd. He is the good shepherd and the good shepherd will give his life for the sheep. How many believes that tonight? Let me tell you, in the book of Matthew, in the book of Luke there, amen, the Bible says uh, when a sheep goes astray, uh, amen, he doesn't wait for the sheep to come. Uh, the good shepherd uh, will leave the ninety and nine. And he will go. And listen, don't ever get aggravated when a man of God asks you where you've been, what's going on in your life, or do you need some help? If you give a smart answer uh, or a sarcastic answer, you nothing but acting like a goat. Either you are batting or butting. So figure which one you are. If you're all talking about butting or you're batting. Amen. I never will forgive when we got to singing that song, uh, Baba. Kenya looked at me one day. He said, I've heard Baba enough. I don't want to hear Baba no more. Somebody shout amen. But I said, a good sheep is a Baba sheep. I ain't sure what Kenya wanted to be that day. Somebody shout amen. But how many of us say God's a good God? Now, a good shepherd will leave the 99. 
And he will go and he will pray. Maybe he'll seek God. Amen. God, what can I do? How can I do? God, visit them. God, show them. Let me tell you, if you've got a good shepherd tonight, you are one blessed person. Now, I want to tell you what I am. I am an under-shepherd. I've been made an overseer by the Holy Ghost. But he is the shepherd. But he gave me a charge and a responsibility to feed the flock, amen, until he comes back. And I've got a commission, amen, amen, as a pastor or as a shepherd to feed the flock. But I know he is the good shepherd. He is the chief shepherd. But I am your shepherd. Can't have no three or four shepherds. One shepherd. Now, somebody shout, my, my cup's not big enough. The, amen. The Lord is my shepherd. Everybody shout that. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. Now the Lord is my shepherd. And because he is my shepherd, what is going on? I shall. And that word want means a lack. There is no lack that you have that God can't supply. Amen. How many know sometimes we feel like we got lack? we got troubles in our lives, but there is no lack if you've got the shepherd because God knows how to minister to every need in your life. Can I preach y'all a while? Now, that ain't going to be big enough, is it? I like them mega cups. Somebody shout amen. I like them. Super Saint Giants. Amen. I've been trying to lose some weight. Oh, help. Somebody shout amen. Let me rephrase that. I ain't trying to lose anything. I'm just trying not to get anything. We put it like that. And I make my mind up when I pull up to Dairy Queen or to McDonald's. Only one patty. But for a dollar more, you can get a double. For a dollar more, you can supersize it. God, I'm about to shout amen right there on myself. Somebody shout hallelujah. Why go with the small when you can supersize it? Because you may not be back there till tomorrow. Somebody shout amen. Woo. God, I feel this coming on. Somebody shout, he's, it's, you can see it getting on him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now the Lord is my shepherd. And Sister Jean, sometimes when I start ordering, and she don't say anything, bless her sweet little heart. She goes, hmm. <laughs> Never doubt she'll catch me, and I'll catch her. I'm going to shout amen. Folks, you got to live. Somebody shout amen. And I, I done good. You're supposed to get two slices. I said, leave one slice of cheese off. <laughs> Amen. I don't eat the I don't eat the extra fries in the sack. Amen. Uh, so I cut my size down. I leave this much coke in the in the thing. Oh, God's still good. Somebody shout, Amen. Why should you like when there's plenty? When provision has been made, why should you like? Amen. Us as God's people should not like. Amen. That doesn't mean we won't get into our needs. Amen. But God is our shepherd. Amen. To supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Can I preach to y'all a while tonight? My God. I feel like I'm in a Pentecostal church tonight, am I? Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Now watch this. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not like. I shall not want. Amen. Why shall I not want? What am I not wanting? What am I not going to want tonight? Somebody shout, I don't have no want tonight. Now, you know, if I could ask you tonight. Amen. I was talking to Sister Jean the other night. Sister Jean Arnett. I hope she don't be sick of hearing me saying this. She said, Brother Wayne, she said, I'd love to have plenty. I wish she did too. Because she said something very good. She said, I'd share it with you. Lord bless her to come into it. Somebody shout amen. 
Ain't that wonderful? So what is God doing with all those blessings up there? Are they for God? No, God has given you and I the blessings. He is the blesser. I, I'm not reaching out for blessings, uh, but amen. Because I love the blesser, guess what I get? I get the benefits of the blesser. Because I'm married to this beautiful young woman, amen, of 40 some years, I get the blessings of sugar. <laughs> Her sugar, yeah. Somebody shout. You know what I'm talking about now? That's it. I get the blessing of Sister Jean's sugar. Oh, we're going to have a good time before we get here tonight. Had a good time putting this together. Amen. God began to talk to me. He said, listen, listen, listen. God says, can you help me just a minute, Brother Kevin? Amen. Okay, you, you can just sit down there because I'm going to be preaching for a long time. But I want you to just take, hey amen. Uh, uh, this is going to be hard to do, but see if you can do this for me. All you got to do is dip that in there and pull that in there. Okay? You think you can handle that one? <laughs> no, no, just, but I tell you, hey amen. You, you can be seated because it's going to take a while right there. Somebody shout, hey amen. Now, the Lord is my shepherd. You don't care to help me, now, do you, there? Okay. Amen. Now, the first thing is, we don't get our eyes on the blessings. That is the wrong thing to do is to get your eyes on the provision. Our eyes has got to be on the shepherd. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because after a while, all we're looking for is give me, give me, give me. But God says, if you'll make me the shepherd of your life, you won't have the like in your life. Now, I shall not want. Somebody said, I shall not. I shall not want. Amen. What shall I not want for? Now look at this. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Somebody shout yes. He provides, amen, for my need. Amen, for the food. Somebody ought to shout yes in here. Amen. Listen to me, the church. Amen. God has provided something for you and I tonight. That green pasture that my soul can be fed and I'm not starving to death. I'm not weak from, I'm not malnutritious. Now, just dip in there, just give a little bit because my cup is not big enough. Get, you can get, you get yeah, just a little bit. Now, pour it in my cup there. Now, I've got the blessing woo, that I shall, that he makes me lie in green pastures. Now listen, folks, I have ate a good steak before. I have ate a bad steak. I've ate some steaks that a chainsaw couldn't hardly cut it in two. You ever get one of them? I got one one day at the restaurant. And I try not, be, I try not to, to ever grumble gripe much. Amen. But all it was was gristle and fat. You couldn't eat that thing. Had no flavor to it. And it almost... Didn't want to order another somewhere down the road. But I said, I'm going to give it another try. I ordered another one. Woo! Man, when it come out, it was tender. It was juicy. It had that charcoal flavor smell. I began to go and cut it with a knife. Wait a minute. This thing began to just push apart. Y'all are going to have me a good time on this one. I eat every bite of it. Look around and said, let me just add another one. That's the kind of steak it was. Amen. God wants to provide you nutritious meals. How many of your soul should not be starving? Your soul should not be in want. Thank you. Amen. Somebody shout, my soul should be fat. Somebody only say that again. Not my flesh, but my soul. My soul should have abundance of life in it. Am I right? So, amen. So I've got to. <laughs> Preach on, honey child. Somebody shout hallelujah. Y'all won't say amen, she's going to. Now, now watch this. He's done poured some in my cup. My cup 
has got some blessings in it. I have abundant life tonight. I don't just live. I don't just exist. I've got abundance. Yes, sir. Amen. I can shout on a rainy day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when things go wrong, I can just take that abundance and just pour it all over me. Yes, I'll use you in a minute, okay? <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout, I've got abundant life. I, I deserve to die because of my sins. But Jesus, the good shepherd, gave his life on an old bloody rugged cross uh, that my cup uh, could get into the place uh, that it runs over uh, by the mercy and the goodness of an almighty God. Now, amen. Listen, listen, folks. I don't like for green pastors to eat good. If you come here and know you're not eating good, You got something wrong. Let me believe that. Amen. Brother Randy called me today. He said, Brother Wayne, I got to thinking about when Keith had you up here. And something about twenty dollars to help me. He said, I got to think as big as he was, that's worth fifty. So when God blesses you, he don't just trickle it to you. He blesses you abundantly. Somebody shout, I'm abundantly blessed. I may be walking down the road of this curse, but I'm abundantly blessed. I may feel like I don't know what I'm about to pull my hair out, but I begin to think uh, the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, life uh, is full of mistakes. Uh, life has a lot of surprises. Uh, life has a lot of ups uh, and downs. Uh, life has a lot of sorrow, uh, but the Lord uh, is my shepherd, uh, and I shall not want. Uh, I do not like uh, a man of green pastures tonight. The shepherd looks around, and he, he knows where the green valleys are at. And he starts lead, he start leading them sheep down that green valley. And then he knows they only don't eat, but they need water. And he sees all the water coming down the mountainside, those streams and those beautiful falls. And, amen. But amen. Sheep are afraid of water. Their natural instinct uh, is because they're afraid of water, because their wool, uh, and if, they're, if they fall in uh, and their wool is so thick and heavy, uh, they, man, they're like a rock. Uh, that wool soaks it up and they drown. So sheep are naturally afraid of water, especially running water. That shepherd knows. He goes down there. He gathers up rocks. He gathers up things, and he dams the water up. Amen. That the water becomes still. Now they're still running water, but the water's still where the sheep's going to drink. Because that shepherd knows without, amen, refreshing them that they'll get weary. How many knows without refreshment you get weary? That's, amen. Oh, God, somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Amen. God spoke to me, and I'm going I'm to bring, I'm going to try to help some people that I, that, I, that I can't help in the other way. But God showed me the other day, uh, I've got a beautiful flower over there. Uh, I bought it, in, I bought it uh, at the store a while back. Uh, amen. I'm not setting it out yet. It's, and it blooms beautiful. Orange blooms. Uh, amen. But the other day, uh, I set it in a certain place, going to set it out, and I forgot it. And I forgot the flower. Got the plant. Beautiful. It's got a good pot. It's got a, it's got good soil. But it's in this potting soil that dries out pretty easy. And I forgot to water it. This beautiful plant began to wither, and the leaves were turning down, and the buds that had bloomed had done withered. When you stay out of church for no reason and you're not getting watered, you're just like that pot of flour. Amen. And I'm going to bring it and I'm going to set it up here. And we're not going to water it. Try to get people to realize if you don't get watered, this is how you are. I don't care what you act like. We got a lot of acting going on. 
Am I preaching to you all night? God said, give me some fresh water. Amen. Watch this. Amen. Now my cup. Amen. Look at this. Somebody shout hallelujah. God said he make me lie in green pastures. Uh, amen. He leadeth me uh, beside uh, still waters. Uh, I do not want uh, for refreshment. Uh, he leads me uh, beside the still waters. Uh, Isaiah 46. Uh, amen. Says this. Read it, Daniel. Put it up there if you've got it. Uh, amen. Uh, refreshment. Uh, you know what that is? It's strength uh, to stand uh, for the journey. Uh, when he told Elijah, arise and eat and drink because the journey is long. Without the eating and drinking, you can't finish the journey. Amen, brother man. You ever see some folks? I don't mean this critically. I'll tell you something. I've been worried before. I've been discouraged before. I've had fought ever devil in hell. I refuse to stay weary when I can go drink of that still water. You still may not like me. You still may not agree with me. You still may. I'm about to more. You ought to hear my daddy. I love my daddy. But he's one of them old timers. Listen, you can be like Lazarus dead four days and give him a cup of coffee or a bowl of cereal and he'll wake you up from the dead. You never heard such slopping and slopping in all of your days. Jeannie, come here. Somebody shout hallelujah. I want to show you. She's not working up the money. Oh, Jeannie, 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 Jeannie. Somebody shout hallelujah. Randy, go get her, buddy, would you? Thank you, son. Hallelujah. Somebody shout amen. I love my daddy. I will not make it fun. But my daddy, amen, he sounds like a hog in a trough. I ain't changing her. Amen. I don't know if she's heard me or not. She didn't hear me scream at her. So I don't guess she heard the rest. She ain't in there? Oh, she didn't hear me. Jeannie. 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 Jeannie, Jeannie. Oh, I love this. I'm driving now, not, not Isaac. Amen. Tell them how my pa, or how your pa, eats and drinks. It's like this. How my dad. Bad. At 3 o'clock in the morning, you have to tell him to quit. How does that sound? <laughs> he makes you want to get me, I guess. I don't know. Some, them kids used to go and stay all night with uh, with my, mom and daddy. Hey, Amen. They'd come home hollering. Pa was up at 3 o'clock, slumping and slopping. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some of us ought to come to church. Uh, Somebody ought to shout hallelujah in here of the goodness of God. You sit here tonight in the joy of the Lord and the benefits of a shepherd. You ought to shout hallelujah. Get out of here, pity party. Get out of here, devils. Get out of here. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. I'm blessed of the Lord. I got problems, but I've got a God that's bigger than all of my problems tonight. Woo! Now I got me some, I got me some green valley. I got me some water. Mm, look at that. Look at that. Now most of us, we stop right there and holler. But oh, there's a whole lot more if you want it. I go to church and I'm just getting by. The devil's been on my case. Give him a drink. Tell him, hey, handle this if you can, devil. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Amen. That's all right, Daniel. You can go out of, out of 46 there. I'm done past it now. Thank you, buddy. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He, may, he lives me beside the still waters. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now, amen, you remember that my cup has got to run over. Or amen, my cup can't contain the goodness of God. So what I've got in my cup tonight is green pastures, the blessings of the Lord. Watch this. Green Pastures is a place that you can sit down. And here's a word that's strange. You may not understand it. It may be too hard to comprehend. But in Green Pastures, you find rest for your soul. 
We don't know what the word rest is. Unless we get in a bottle or a pill. Somebody shout amen. I know, but just kick him back. You know, it bothers people when you're not in knots. When you just, you got to be in a problem. Somebody shout amen. Now, he made me lie in the green pastures. He leaves me beside still waters. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. My God. What I ate today, but it's made me so thirsty. It's dried me up. Oh God. It's like my neck throat is kind of been a shock. Oh. Still waters. Oh God. That was good. <laughs> Somebody shout it. God, that was good. I done drunk one bottle out of a ship ride. For it says church. Amen. That's still water. Oh, God. That makes you want to get up in here. How many believes that? We ought to be able to give a devil a nervous breakdown tomorrow morning because my cup can't contain the blessings that God has got for me. Amen. Y'all excuse me because this is good. Somebody shouts good. Some of y'all licking your tongue to the roof of your mouth right now. But God is good. Somebody shout he's good. I will not need, I will not want to be refreshed because God promised me he'll refresh me with strength. He said them that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with the wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Psalms 103 and verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name who loads me daily with benefits. Who forgives me of all of my sins or my iniquities and my transgressions. Who healeth me of all of my diseases. Who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who renews my youth as that of an eagle. Woo! We ought to make the world thirsty and hungry. Well, I got problems. Who knows? Well, I'll just cure that in for you. Woman or man? Are you a man? Come here. If you're a man, then you was born of a woman. Then you got a few days. And full of troubles. So what are you going to do about that? You're going to get the shepherd. Every one of us is born of a woman. Is of a few days and full of trouble. Can I? Is that right? Thank you, sir. Everything I'm preaching tonight, I got word to back it up. Now, thank you, Dan. You've done got that one. Amen. Let's go back to Psalms 23. Are you there, Brother Kelvin? Get ready, buddy. Get ready. I shall. Now, this is the, the next verse, Daniel. Next verse. Mm, God. He restoreth my soul. Now, I don't care what your need is. God is a restorer of your soul. I've been mistreated. I've been hurt. I've been wounded. I've been lied on. I've been this. I've been abused. All those things can be legitimate. But if you allow God, he knows how to heal to the inside out. Now, it may not all happen in 24 hours. You may have been abused, kicked, scoffed, stoned, left half dead. But God says he restoreth. 
put some restoring in my cup. My God, I wish I could preach to y'all tonight like I feel. Look at this. Sir. I got a pretty good sized cup, ain't I? Huh? I got some green grass in there. I got some steel water in there. What else have I got in there? I got some restoration in there. My cup ain't full. You know, how I many of so many times we stop too quick, don't we? We walk away from the very one that's able to run our cup over. How many of y'all want your cup to run over? Now, I got a pretty good sized cup. Amen. Amen. It's going to take a lot to fill this cup up. How much shout? It's filling my blessings. How much shout, amen? Not even aiming to. Maybe, maybe the, you want to pour it on you? Listen, there's more in there than there is in here. If God's got more, then we can expect something else. Can I preach to y'all tonight? Oh, he restoreth my soul. He knows how to heal. Put just a little bit more of the blessing of our brother Kelvin. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, he restores. Amen. Now watch this, mm, God. Sheep have a tendency to wander. I wonder who he is. I wonder what that is. I wonder what's going on over yonder. And y'all ever? I wonder if God can. Sheep have a tendency to wander. And when sheep wander off, they do not know how to come home. And it takes the good shepherd to go find them. How many times have you walked in here and you really was way off somewhere, but by the grace of God, through the preaching of the word of God, I preached right down your life, have I not done that before, got you by the hand and pulled you back to the fold. Is that right? Y'all ever been there like that? Who told him about that? <laughs> the chief shepherd. Somebody shout amen. Some come, I had a man come to me one night and he said, I want to talk to you. And he said it's stern. I thought, oh my God. He said, I want to know where my wife talked to you. I said, I don't even know your wife. Somebody shout Amen. He came with his wife one night to the tent revival right up here at Wendy's. His name was Johnny. I won't call his last name, but his name was Johnny. And he said, you've preached all over me, and you've told me what I've been doing, and he, your wife, my wife has had to tell you. He said, your wife ain't told me nothing. Well, I said, God's got your number. How many of those God's got your number? And he'll, talk, he'll tell them. Now, see, nobody else don't know it, but you know about it. You may think everybody's looking at you, but amen, nobody don't know it. It's you and God. And I love it when, amen, nobody don't tell me. I won't let them tell, tell me no way. But man, I can look at you right now and not know it, and God just preach all over you and not even know it. Because God wants to touch your life. How many times have I come in here by the grace of God and just read you like a book? Huh. Have I? this. Somebody shout, he restores my soul. Come on, y'all Pentecostals. He whew, my God, I got something restored back. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says then, amen, get your cup ready. Got some more blessings coming. He, what? Leadeth me in the, folks, how many of y'all need guidance tonight? God knows how to guide you. He knows how to lead you around the places where there's snares. I, somebody says, I want to go this way. God says, don't go that way today. That way's not a good way today. You may have went that way yesterday, but today there's danger out there. Satan set a snare for you. Amen. And if you'll listen to the will and the voice of God, God will lead you in a right path. Somebody shout yes in here. Somebody ought to stand to your feet and give God a shout.
shout of praise tonight. Amen. Because uh, he leadeth you uh, in the path of righteousness. Uh, he leads you in a right path. Listen to me. Because your life and life itself is full of ups and downs and pitfalls, holes, snares. Many times, it's like in some of these countries where they have war, they'll bear these landmines. Even after the war is over, somebody will step on a landmine and blow them to smithereens. In, the, in those days, they would dig a lot of pits for wild animals or to catch animals for food. And they never fill them in. And if you went certain paths, you'd fall in that pit. You'd fall in that snare. You'd fall in that place that was dangerous. Can I get a witness? But the Holy Ghost knows how to lead you. He knows how to guide you. How many of y'all ever come to church and I'll preach, don't do it. Stop. Cut the rope. Pull the rope and which way you want to go. <laughs> what, what message you on? Somebody shout amen. It's like the old, oh God. It's like the two ladies went to Jack Cole's meeting. Two old grannies. One said, Lord, send the fire tonight. Lord, send the fire. Others say, Lord, send the rain. Lord, send the rain. There's a heathen sitting behind them. Somebody shout amen. He tapped on the shoulder and said, which one do you want? You want the fire or you want the rain? One of them jumped up and I want both of them. I just want both of them. That's what we need tonight. By the grace of God, give us the fire and the rain. Have you got me some blessings in there? Oh, God. Oh, God. I got me some blessings. Oh, God's good. Don't think I need to go to church for a while. I got so many blessings. I don't think I need to pray like I used to pray. I got so many blessings. Oh, glory to God. Somebody shout amen. I hope. Somebody shout amen. You want to sing this? Yes. Somebody shout blessings. What's this? What's this? Got blessings. What have I got tonight? I got restoration. For his name's sake. God has took a mistake. God has took a failure. God has took a sinner. God has took somebody that was fit for hell and changed them for his name's sake. Am I preaching, y'all? Am I preaching, y'all? Amen. Okay. How can I spell no more water? What's hard when you get a cup? Huh? Some of y'all should splash. Can you get anybody wet? Maybe that's what I need to title this. Can you get anybody wet? Somebody shout hallelujah. My cup can't contain the blessings of the Lord. You see that? Next verse, Daniel. I got to hurry. My God, I got to hurry. Is this good to y'all? Then there comes those times. I've got, I've got green pastures. I've got still waters. I've got restoration. I've got healing. I've got blessings. I've got joy. Then there comes that time I walk to that unknown valley. That valley that I've never been in before. One like I, I don't know how to handle. Can I preach to y'all now? Hold my blessings, Brother Kevin. That, 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 that valley that is real uncertain. You're not sure. Not sure what lies up there. But wait a minute. You got a shepherd. He's leading me. You're not walking through that valley of the shadow of death by yourself. Listen to me, folks. The Old Testament was a shadow and a type of things to come. Christ was in every chapter of the Old Testament as a type. As a shadow, it showed him as a lamb, as this and that. Amen, amen. Uh, uh, the, it was the great I am. They sang that song. What's the song that y'all used to do as a hand sign? Uh, 
I am. I am. He was all these things. Amen. Now watch this. Amen. He was a shadow in that Old Testament. You know why he was a shadow? Because he was the light. And he casted the shadow. But when he walked out into that New Testament, he became the light of the world and shadows disappeared. My God, that ought to make you want to shout hallelujah. Now watch this. Though I walk through this valley of the shadow of destruction, that's what that means. I will not fear no destruction. What evil is is destruction. Because the devil can't destroy you because you're in the palm of his hand. Would one Pentecostal jump up and shout hallelujah on that? Thank you. I'm in the palm of his hand and the devil can't get me out. Because when he reached his hand, if the devil could hold your hand out, if he could reach his hand, amen, I'll be the devil. In that bloody nail-scarred hand, the devil be saved. But he can't do it. He can't get you out because I'm engraved in the palms of his hand. Somebody shout amen. God's good. I will fear what? You know there's destruction everywhere around me. It's on every side of me, destruction. Something's all the time trying to destroy me and you. Your faith, your belief, your body, destruction in your family. I pray a hedge around all of my family. I pray hedges over you. Amen. Y'all hear what I'm telling you tonight? Is this? Oh, God. I fear for what? Thou art. Somebody shout amen. Amen. You're not walking that valley by yourself. You're not in that place, amen, by yourself. God's with you. Pour me a little more blessings in there. Amen. You can give me a whole cup of that because, amen, Satan wants to do it all the time, but he can't do it by the grace and the mercies of an almighty God. And even if I make a mistake or something go wrong, I can always get on these knees that God gave me and say, God, I'm sorry, I repent. Forgive me by the grace and the mercies of an almighty God. Tell your neighbor, my cup can't hold this. Oh, Tell your neighbor, like, get your neighbor by the hair of the head and tell him. Oh, Somebody shout amen. Huh? Somebody say, my cup runneth over. Didn't hurt you, did it? <laughs> Why not enjoy what God gave you? Brother Chris, you invited me to go out and eat steak with him. He told me, Brother Wayne, I love you so much, I'm going to take you over to Camelville to a Colton's. And I want you to order the biggest steak. Don't forget this now. Watch, watch Edgar's back there chew his fingernails right now while I'm saying that. But it's on his money, right? Thank you. Oh, it's going to get better now. Somebody shout Amen. Brother Acres too. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now, Brother Chris is going to take me out. I got to go with Chris tonight. I got to go over to that old steakhouse and I got to eat steak. What's wrong with you? I got to go to church. I'm going to church. I was glad when they said unto me, let's go to church. Folks, this thing, it can't get good if you want it to. Amen. When you look at your spouse, you think, oh, my God, while I'm married. And you can look at him and say, man, I've got to be the wisest man in the world to marry the woman I'm married. Just stand up and say, Look how smart I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you 
you got him was shaking all over. My man. See? Is that right? But you don't know him. I understand. Poor old sister Jean, God bless her heart. But she keeps looking at me and through the eyes of love. This is your got tight and quiet. <laughs> Somebody shout amen. And you look at them long enough, you'll fall in love with them again and again. Let me tell you something. By God's goodness and his mercy, I'm a very wise man. Because he that planteth a lie, Finds favor. You should be on your feet, holler, my God. I got it made and don't know it. But you don't know it. Somebody should say that. Trevor, he's eating this up. <laughs> Y'all, is that okay? Is that okay, Trevor? <laughs> Folks, y'all should walk out going, bah, bah, bah. He that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtains favor. Y'all like this kind of preaching? Y'all want this kind of preaching? Yes, sir. Yes. That's what you're going to get. <laughs> I've got the favor of the Lord with me. Yeah, and every time I put her under my arm, I'm walking with the favor of God. That's right. The favor of the Lord is worth the walk. Go home and talk to Jeremy. <laughs> Make him miserable. Somebody shout amen. Oh God, I gotta watch her. Listen, but do the how many of y'all how many of y'all know God is a God of favor? How many of you are shepherd? Every one of y'all should try to get this message. Go home and listen to it again on YouTube because you ain't getting half of it. I don't mean that disrespectfully. Of the goodness. My cup can't contain. Give me some more blessing, brother. Amen. I got the wife of my youth. I found the favor of the Lord. Fifth. Okay. Now, I'm really getting dangerous now. God, I'm getting dangerous. We should be dangerous every day of our lives. We should make people so hungry for God. What church you go to? You just no you don't. You don't hold a finger, baby. the goodness of God. How long I've known you and you've been, you've been a blessing to me. You told me that my light was out when it wasn't. Oh, praise God, it wasn't out. I'm about to get happy. Somebody shout amen. Can I preach y'all over here a while? Tell your neighbor, my cup can't hold all this. My cup can't hold all this. How many of y'all blessed of the Lord tonight? How many of y'all blessed of the Lord tonight? Joey, you didn't know what living was until you come to church and got saved, did you? You, said, you thought you lived at one time and you didn't live, you was dead. Amen. Look at him. Ain't you blessed tonight, Brother Curry? Look at him. Got you, little woman with you. Got the favor of the Lord. Got your daughter. Got your grandbaby. Got a son in law with you. Blessed of the Lord. He ain't out corrals tonight. He's in church with you. We're talking about blessings for the vain. That would give a shudder to all the people. My cup can't contain all the goodness of God. If y'all want to just be blessed for a minute, just be blessed. Is that okay? If you just want to hold, you may want to just bless somebody.
God can do this. I can preach it to you. But I want you to understand. I want somebody to say, I want to enjoy this thing tonight. Amen. Watch it. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you're with me. God, you're with me through that, amen, that unknown. Uh, raise your hand and shout, God's with me through the unknown, uh, through that situation, uh, amen, uh, that I should be dreading, uh, but by the grace of God, God's give me courage. Uh, somebody shout hallelujah. Woo! Now watch this. And thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. They what? How knows there's comfort in serving God tonight? Now watch this. When you walk through that valley, oh, raise your hands and shout hallelujah. Amen. I will fear no evil. Uh, what well, God is, that Psalmist David is saying, uh, I shall not want for the courage, uh, and I don't need to fight the enemy. Uh, all I need to do is trust God because God fights the enemy. How do you know when the sh when David was the shepherd uh, and a bear and a lion came out uh, to get one of the flock? Uh, guess what David did? The lambs didn't fight it. The shepherd fought it. You know God's done fought your battle and won. Somebody will shout, God's done fought my battle and won. All I've got to do uh, is stand up uh, and enforce what God already said. I watched in the Waltons the other night. I love the Waltons. I like them when the kids are all small. And they sold the calf. That whole house got upset. But Daddy broke an axle on the truck. They didn't have no money. And they sold the calf. And they went to Mama and said, Mama, she said, Children, what your daddy says in this house goes. Too. I might not like it, she said. I might not wish we could keep it. But Daddy knows best. God knows the best. And all I need you to stand up and say, Amen. God still rules the house. So get out of here, devil. By the grace of God, I'm going to have some refreshment. I'm going to have some rest. I'm going to have some peace with God. And I'm going to have the peace of God. By the grace and the mercies of God, somebody shout yes in here. Somebody shout the peace of God and the mercies of God. Give God one more shout of a Holy Ghost praise in this house tonight. Woo! Almost done. Though I walk through the valley. Of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Now when the enemies are out there on those countrysides, there's the wolves, there's the snakes, there's the coyotes, there's the lions, there's the bears, there are wild dogs, there are enemies out there that I don't know about. But you're with me, God. God knows how to lead me in that path. He knows how to put his hand over me. He says, devil, you can't have him. And that shepherd of the night would gather them sheep in. He'd lay down and he'd watch them. He didn't want them to get far away from him. He'd take that rod or that staff. He'd pull that sheep back in. And if he had to, he'd thump him on the head. Well, Glory. Get over here, hardhead. Lay down. How many of y'all ever been there? I got some hardheads over here. I didn't get many hands over here. I got one. Bless your heart. Joe's trying to act spiritual. But God's good. Who knows that God is good? Let's look at this. Almost done. Oh. Now watch, watch it. Next verse, Daniel. Wait a minute. No, hold it right there. Hold it. Hold, back up. Back up. Back up. Thy rod and thy staff. What do they do? I ask you a question. When's the last time you've been comforted? I love it. And I don't like hard times. I don't like difficult times. I don't like times when I'm suffering. But I do like this in those times. My beautiful little wife, she'll see that I'm going through a hard time. She sees I'm really struggling. She'll put her arm maybe around me. Oh. 
I can't stand it. set. She'll say, honey, are you a great man of God? Are you a powerful in God? Or God's going to bless you. And she begins to comfort me. Boy, I could whoop the devil any given moment when that happens. But she believes in me. God believes in you tonight. How you know Satan come out there and said, messing around, said what I can mess up. Who can I mess up today? God said, excuse me, devil. I got a guy down there. His name is Job. What do you think about him? Oh, yeah, I know him. I know, he, I know you got a hedge around him. Yeah. And I tell you what, I'll take that hedge around, and he still won't deny me. See, God thinks good of you. <laughs> He's got your number, Brother Randy. Sister Leslie, he got your number. He says, I can count on you. Count on you. Brother Joe, three people got saved yesterday in Louisville. Amen. Four people got saved. Give God a hand for that right there. Down there in Louisville, on the bridges and other overpasses. Amen. That's awesome. Amen. He calls me, tells me, hey, pastor. So, is there, is there much water left in the bucket? Folks, we've not even tapped into the blessings. <laughs> Somebody shout amen. He comforts me. And God comforts me. Glory to God. This thing, get, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's heavy. Yes, sir. It's heavy. God, this is heavy. Come here, muscles. This is heavy. But you drop Paul's mug, you ought to go to Florida and buy him one. That's blessings. Look at the blessings. Coffee company. Oh. Got a lot of God blessings in there. But you know what? I'm still, I ain't blessed like I need to be. God says, you ain't done yet. I'm not done blessing you. Brother Charlie, God ain't done blessing you. Somebody shout amen. The blessings of the Lord maketh me and adds no sorrow to it. Amen. Next verse, Dan. Now watch this. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe it's verse 5. Thou prepareth a table before me in the presence of my name. Go back and get you some blessings. Amen. God is going to set you How many of y'all like to eat from God's table? And all of your enemies that's lied against you, fought you, have come against you from every side, that you thought you'd lose your mind in that battle. You know what God's going to do? Let me borrow it for just a minute. God's going to set you a table. Sit down, Brian. Child, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to give you a cup filled. Somebody shout amen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You want more rice? Go get another cup. I feel something. Oh, I got a feeling that Ryan's about to get wet. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now, don't pour it till I tell you. You still want more blessing? Well, ain't y'all got, ain't you got about enough? Oh! Whew. What do you think?
Take me out. <laughs> All you're doing is trying to get me in trouble with that woman right there. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rebecca. Somebody shout amen. Has this been good to y'all? My cup. I can't contain the goodness that God's given me. Sometimes what you say just lets our cups run over. <laughs> All right. There ain't much you can do right now except overflow. Well, how many of y'all want to the overflow status? How many of y'all want overflow status? How many of y'all want overflow status? Then somebody come up here and take Ryan's place. <laughs> help us, help us. Sister Rachel's done got her hand up. She wants the overflow. Well, come on up here. You want overflow? Pour a little more in there. Now somebody is going to get overflowed. Somebody is going to get wet. You can't give it to her without getting excited. Glory be to God. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I know y'all don't preach this badly, but that's all right. Sit down here beside of him, sis. Hallelujah. I can't give you his because that belongs to him. Oh, God. <laughs> Some of y'all think I will do it, and I'm capable of doing it. So. <laughs> Somebody shout amen. I wish I'd have brought some plastic, put it down. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. The Lord God. Now, Sister Rachel, see your healing. Your peace of mind. Ryan, you can't do much but look. Look at that. Can I preach for another minute? Aren't you glad to he you're here tonight? Thy anointed one. Thy helper. Yes, Lord. Bring your friend down. The anointed one. Get in touch with the Father. Shake that sickness off. Take that demon off. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thy anointed one is here. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some of you looked and said, maybe there ain't nothing. But you know, I said, amen. Can I get a witness in the house? Sister Keith, would you help me? Sister Jean, would you help me come home all from the street? That's all right. You can let stand up. Come here, Brother Sean. Hallelujah. Somebody shout amen. Thy anointed one is here. Thy healing is coming. Psalms 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them. My God. Psalms 37, 25. Never seen the righteous forsaken. Just hold my oil. Hold my oil. When he comes back, he says, I think she needs just a little bit more oil. Now, folks, she asked for this. You know why? Because she needs something. I feel the stillness of the Lord. I feel the Spirit of God telling you right now, God wants your cup to overflow. He don't want you barely get by down on Begging Street. Because he said, I've never seen the righteous. Norris, you don't have to beg God. You don't have to beg God to bless you. You just walk in the blessings. You just walk after, walk with the shepherd. And the blessings follow you. Oh, God. 
after you've got a cup full and you've got anointed. That's a preacher's dream. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, God, just get anointed. Just get anointed. Somebody shout, just get anointed. Just get, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, just get anointed. Just get anointed. Been a while, but amen, I feel a fresh anointing. I feel a fresh anointing by the power of the Holy Ghost in this house tonight. Hallelujah. Come here, Sister Carla. I feel it. Come here. You, Sister Carla Camps. Hallelujah. Give me that fresh oil. Hallelujah. I just feel that. I don't know what that's about, but God said anoint you with fresh oil by the power and the mercies of an almighty God right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for that anointing. God, that anointing. Woo! That'll change something in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout yes. Hallelujah. That was a victory over some kind of an enemy by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody raise your hands and shout yes in this place. That was the anointing of the Holy Ghost in here. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Almost done, folks. Hallelujah. I preach my heart out to you tonight. That's what God gave me. I know we've had a little fun with it. Amen. But amen. My cup. Ryan, real easily. Stand up, son. Amen. And I, I've been sad before. I've been grieved before. I've hurt before. I've cried before. I went out and said, God, I don't know and I don't understand. I've hurt so bad I thought I was going to like have a heart attack. My cup can't handle the blessings of God because of what comes or goes. I'm preaching John right now. I'm not out on drugs by the grace of God. I'm not out somewhere drunk. I'm not out somewhere carousing by the grace and the mercies of God. I'm going to go home tonight. And if they leave me, I'll walk all the way home. Woo! Somebody shout amen. You're anointed, and I feel that anointing that God's just going to just keep on anointing until there's just going to be a change in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. God, I thank you. As that woman touched the hem of your garment. And he felt that virtue, that power leave his body. God, that virtue tonight that I feel in my spirit. God, let it touch her body. From the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. God, by the anointing of God. thing is dead. Look what you got. Now I know he's blessed. He ain't got no knot on top of his face. But look what a bucket you got. Who's that? A cup. Help me, Brother Buddy, would you, can you? Hold this under Ryan's cup because I've got to run it over. No, can you stand to the side? Yeah. Come over here and dip down that bucket. Get you a glass full. the blessing of God in that cup. Brother, your cup can't hold it. <laughs> you know what?
That just happened to him. What are you, what are you about to do, man? You can juggle. You can move a little bit now. Come on, you can move. Come on, get excited. Come on, get excited. Woo, get excited. Get excited. Get excited. Get excited, man. Because there's more to come. God ain't going to run out. God ain't going to run out, is he? Now look at that. Now guess what? My cup can't handle or can't contain the blessings. Your marriage life, make sure he's the shepherd of your marriage. And your cup will always be full. Can I get a witness? Stand to your feet all over this building. Oh, God. Somebody shout. Some more, something else about to happen. My cup runs over. Doesn't it? Next verse, Daniel. One more as I close. Surely, without a shadow of a doubt, absolutely, goodness. Goodness is the kindness of God. You ever meet somebody that's kind? When I die, I hope somebody can say he had a kind spirit. Now I'm firm. I expect, but I want to be gentle. Hello? God is for everlasting kind to you and I. Let me believe that. And God wants to not just fill your cup. He just wants to pour it all over you. Somebody shout hallelujah the goodness and the mercies. How many tonight says, God, I want my cup to run over. And no matter when it gets low, God wants to fill it up again. You like that, young man? You won't remember all this, but you'll say, that preacher a long time ago, here's some of this over. You know as our cup runs over, man. Your cup runs over. There's sister Jean standing out of my cup runs over, man. Have Jean on that platform. My cup runs over. To have my son law friends there. My cup runs over. To have Robin and Jason. They've wandered off. But they will get they're working their way home. Somebody shout amen. So blessed of the Lord. Sister Jean and I are so blessed to pastor this church. I'm going to toot our horn. You've got some good pastors. They faithful, they true, and they real. And what you see is exactly what you get. I know. Somebody shout amen. If she tells you she likes you or loves you or she appreciates you, she don't flatter. In 47 years, I've never been flattered. Somebody shout amen. But she has told me, she said, you're a good man. You're a good husband. Yes. You want to go out and whoop some devils, she says that. Somebody shout amen. Now, I'm not giving you chill bumps. Because you don't need them. Because you've got a cup. It's just overflowing. Somebody shout amen. It's just overflowing. It's just overflowing. Somebody shout overflowing. God's good, isn't he? Somebody shout God's good. He's good. When? And all the time. Raise your hands and shout, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. What are you going to do with it? 
I'll tell you what. Turn it over here. Yeah, there you go. God will bless it if I'm preaching it good. Look at there, Sister Rachel. Now, Brother Ryan, why don't you just take a lap around this house hollering, I'm so blessed I can't stand it. <laughs> now, run a little bit. I can't stand it. Somebody shout, I'm blessed tonight. Amen. Get ready. Somebody shout, there's anointing of God in here tonight. I close. Maybe you think I've got a little extreme, but I've not even touched the surface of how God wants to be extreme to bless you in spite of everything that you've been through and going through that you've lost. The blessings of the Lord make it this rich tonight. I want somebody to raise your hands and start lifting your voices and say, God, I want to thank you. I want to thank you that my cup runs over tonight. I want to thank you for my children coming in. I want to thank you for healing my body. I want to thank you for sparing my life. I want to thank you tonight, God. Come on, somebody start praising for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, that my cup is running over by the grace of God. Somebody praise him, would you? Would somebody just give him some worship right now? Amen. The compassion, the forgiveness of God. Come on, Thank him right now. Thank you for that healing. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for everything that he's doing in Solid Rock. Thank you that you're a member of a church that the blessings of the Lord is in tonight. Come on and give him praise. Somebody thank him right now. Come on, come on. Lift your voices. Come on, lift your voices right now. Thank him. Thank him for his mercies. Thank him that he is your shepherd and you don't have any want. You have no like because of the good of an almighty God. Would somebody uh, clap your hands uh, and give God a shout. Uh, somebody uh, lift your voice uh, with a hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord. Woo! Well, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Has he? Folks, if y'all will help me, we'll be out of here by midnight, maybe. Tell your neighbor, look what the Lord has done. Come on, tell them, look what the Lord has done. Look what he done. He healed me. He made me whole. Sister Rachel, just get them hands back in the air and praise him again. Your cup is overflowing. Every devil in hell is trying to steal from you. Amen. He's trying to kill, but you still blessed. Your cup, your children, everything about you is blessed of the Lord tonight. Get that flag in march. Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. Touch my mind, he saved me, and it was just in time. I'm gonna praise his name. Each day he's just yes, the God, same. By the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. Come on and praise him. Look what the Lord has done. Has done. Look what he's done. Look what he's done. It was just in time. I'm going to praise his name. Each day he's just the same. Come on and praise him. Look what the Lord has done. Can you believe what the Lord has done in me? Can you believe what the Lord has done? Save me, cleanse me, turn my life around, set my feet on a solid ground. Can you believe what the Lord has done in me? Has He done it for you? The Lord has done. Look what He's done. Look what the Lord has done. Look what He's done. He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me and. Was just in time. I'm going to praise his God? name. Anybody else want to get out of your house? Each day he's just the Break same. Break out, old spirit. Break out, old spirit. Come on Break and praise him. We're Look what the, the Lord. Lord has done. Break out, spirit. 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 Break out, spirit.
Lord has done. Look what He's done. Look what the Lord has done. Look what He's done. Hold it. I don't mean to be critical, but if some evangelist had come here and told y'all, get out of your seat, you'd have run out and broke somebody's neck trying to get over top of them. Your pastor would say, amen. You, we ought to get out of our seats tonight and praise God for about three minutes. Somebody shout, sing it again. Hallelujah. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me and it was just in time. I'm going to praise His name. Each day is just the same. Come on and praise Him. Look what the Lord has done. Sing it, everybody. Sing it. The Lord has done. Look what He's done. Look what the Lord has done. Look what He's done. He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me and it was just in time. I'm going to praise His name. Each day is just the same. Come on and praise Him. Look what the Lord has done. I want you to just turn around to somebody beside of you, in front of you, behind you, and tell them, my cup's running over this week. My cup's done running over. My cup is running over right now. This week, my cup uh, is going to run over. Uh, my head's been anointed. Uh, hallelujah, by the power and the mercy of God. Uh, somebody shout, my cup uh, is running over. Uh, my cup uh, is running over. Give God a shout of praise. Come on, give God a shout of praise. Come on, come on, give him a praise like you mean it. We give this world praises. We give this world ovations. We give this world hand claps. Let's give the Lord. Amen. He's greater than a basketball player or any kind of sports fan. Amen. The power of an almighty God. I'm blessed of the Lord tonight. I'm blessed of the Lord tonight. My cup, my cup ain't about to run over. My cups are running over by the mercies of God. Tell your neighbor, my cup just ain't big enough. Too many blessings. Brother Danny Brown, too many blessings you've got. Amen. You walked in here that Sunday and God saved you. My God, the blessings of the Lord. Been different ever since, ain't it? Randy, you never thought you'd probably ever see that boy in church with his hands in the air.